Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha studio. In Parsha's Chukas, we learn about the mitzvah of Para Aduma, the red cow. We'll learn more about this soon. Meanwhile, let's get started on a special craft that is connected to this red cow of which we speak. Here are the supplies we will need. Clear glue, red food coloring, string or ribbon, a small clear container with a cover, a small pink cup, clear tape, scissors, the printed cow template, a paintbrush, a blue pencil, and lastly, red, orange, yellow, and pink markers. Let's begin. Pour a small amount of clear glue into a paint cup. Add about two drops of red food coloring and mix with a paintbrush. So what's the deal with this red cow, you ask? Well, it was burnt and its ashes were used to purify someone who came in contact with the dead. To be used, it had to be completely red. Even two black hairs would cause it to be invalid. Next, paint the entire inside of the container with your now red glue. Then, let it dry for two to four hours. If you notice any areas aren't red due to air bubbles that popped, then paint again over those areas. If need be, set it aside to dry again. This mitzvah does not sound logical at all. In fact, there are three categories of mitzvos, one of which is called chukim. These are mitzvos that don't make sense to us. Next, fold the cow template in half so that the outline of the cow can now be seen through the paper's second half. Trace the cow outline with a blue pencil. Then you'll flip the paper over and draw an identical cow on the other side. You should end up with a blue outline of a cow on both sides of the paper. Imagine you went to the doctor for a certain issue, and the doctor prescribed a special medicine for you. You don't understand how the medicine works, what exactly it accomplishes, or how it interacts with the mechanisms of your body. But rather than waiting to fully understand the science behind it, you take the medicine, trusting the doctor knows what he is doing. We don't always know why or how something is good for us, but we trust those who know better and follow their instructions. Draw three hairs on one side of the cow. Later you will see that these light blue hairs will show up looking quite dark. Next, cut out the cow, the one that was traced in blue, not the black one from the template. Color both sides of the cow with red, orange, pink, and yellow markers, giving a red sort of effect. The same idea applies here. There are mitzvahs we don't understand, such as this one. We don't get why a completely red cow should be burnt and have its ashes sprinkled on someone impure from contact with a dead body. It doesn't make logical sense to us. But we know that this mitzvah, along with each of the chukim, accomplishes something special that only Hashem knows, and we therefore fulfill it without questioning. Cut a short piece of ribbon about an inch long. Attach one end to the cow with a piece of tape. Then laminate the entire cow using clear tape and cut off the excess, the part that sticks out. Similar to how we would follow a doctor's orders, even without understanding the way the medicine works, we fulfill these types of mitzvahs, the chukim, purely because Hashem asked us to, even if we don't understand the reasoning behind them. And even if a mitzvah does make sense to us, we still fulfill it only because Hashem asked us to. And for the last step of our craft, attach the second end of the ribbon to the inner cover of the container so that the cow dangles inside the jar. When the cow is inside, under the red light of the container, you can see the outline of the cow, along with those dark hairs. Now you can tell if this cow is kosher to be used for para aduma. Hmm, what do you think? Can it be used if it has more than a strand of dark hair? I think not. Luckily, it's just for fun though, so enjoy your little jar. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It would really help us out. We can't wait to see you next week.